Okay. Seems like we are live. Hello, hello. All right. Let me quickly set up the chat. Okay, the chat seems to be working. All right. Okay, give me a second, folks. All right. Okay. Mm. So, where were we last time? Um, let's look at the state, the project. Okay. Mm. So, let me... Um, hide the debug information and I can move around with uh, the arrow keys so just to remind the red um, the red circle is the player and since the camera is moving along with the player um, we it appears that the blue one is moving but actually it's the red one moving in the world and last time we added this direction vector for for the player and um, yeah it can be controlled with the mouse right um, and this works even when the mouse is inside the player character okay so today um, let us start with some physics and collisions so um, one of the things is uh, right now our physics are a bit Mm. ad hoc like they are not uh, like we are doing a few things um, just like just adding them manually things like that maybe we could add like a vector type um, or use something like um, static arrays to um, get a two dimensional vector um, or well a 1D vector with dimension 2 uh, sorry with length to um, and do some collision detection maybe with circles um, because at some point we are going to add bullets and um, those bullets will collide with other objects and we need to detect that so that's also there mm. so i'm thinking maybe we should first start with um, maybe like importing static arrays and starting from there 
do some collision detection maybe mm. or maybe first add some objects to be able to do collision detection with um so like add another player for example right mm. yeah let's see okay mm. First, I think I need to merge this branch. So I think I already merged this branch um, on the remote. Okay. Let's see. So, so far we have some basic physics, which is only about movement, right? Um, that's here. So we have this move up. Mm, game state dot player and with some velocity, um, make it move. This was implemented in this file, game state.jl. Right. And uses move i, move j. Um, and internally, everything is represented as using types from simple draw. So the position of a player is a point, um, type sd dot point. Um, and it has an i and a j, which are its two coordinates. Um, hmm. Maybe, um, we should also use accessors like accessors.gl package to make this part cleaner. So there is um, gl Right, so if there is um, an immutable um, data type and we want to set a field of it then we can do it more easily with accessors right um, Okay. And if you were to include, um, if you were to import Wait, is my camera on? No, my camera is frozen for some reason. Oh, there's some problem with my camera. Mm. Maybe I'll just delete it. Oh. Remove. Remove. Video capture as well.
All right. Mm. Okay. So I was saying if we import um, static arrays, then all our positions and everything can be in terms of static arrays. Instead of simple dot dot point, we can get um, math functions, basic math functions um, for them directly. Mm. Not that we can't implement it ourselves, but uh, yeah, I'm just trying to think if that is more convenient or not. Mm. So instead of using simple raw dot point that you are here, it will be static arrays dot s vector, let's say, right? Mm. And then maybe instead of directly saving the filled circle, maybe we construct this only when we want to draw. Um, yeah. The main use of simple draw was to draw, right? Um, and so may like, yeah, we can do this construction when we are drawing. Um, so we can just store the diameter and mm, just store the diameter and the um, and the position, and then construct. Uh, this filled circle out of it later right so that would mean that our player could become something like the following mm. so let's say there will be some uh, position uh, which will be static array dot s vector um, there will be diameter uh, this will just be an integer and drawable will go away and direction will be again mm, just a s vector and then when we want to draw we mm, we can draw we can at that point construct construct a simple draw type from these things Okay, uh, we also had this um, task to separate out um, all the drawing of the game state into a function, right? Um, I'm just trying to think what would be better to do um, to add arithmetic to simple draw types or to use static arrays and do things that way. Thank you. 
before that let me try something so um, let me try importing accessors and static arrays and just playing with it to see if they work well together um, because we'll have a bunch of immutable types um, our entities are immutable so far um, yeah uh, let me just play with it um, maybe not modify the the project files as is but uh, make a new project Static arrays and accessors. So if I have mm, What do I use accessors? Um, accessors dot set, right? Add set. Mm. V of one equal to, sorry, equal to six. Hmm. So this works. This will give us a new static array, right? Um, okay, let me make an array of static vector so mm, v1 equal to v let's say right and let's make an array of v1 and v2 mm, and let's say v1 um, array of 1 equal to this is something i had I think tried at some point um, to set an element of an array using um, using this array of one of one right so this would be this element let's make it nine for example I'm I'm not sure if this works right uh, there's some error okay cannot convert object of type this to an object of type int mm. okay let's see what is this 
This should be three. Right. Um, does this work? Oh, interesting. I don't need to reassign it. Let me see ARR. Oh, okay. No, this gave me, I think this, so this gave me an entirely new, entirely new, um, array. So ARR is this, if I do ARR2 equal to this thing, then ARR2 is, is a, is a complete vector. Um, so if I do ARR1, mm, yeah, I mean, they are different. So, um, but I don't want a completely new vector. I just want to modify this one in place. Is there a way to do that in accessors? There's a tutorial. Let me search in the issues, maybe if there is some information about that. Um, search in place. Mm. You 
update. Update. Is it mutable? It is. Okay, this is pretty much what we want. Right, yeah, so this is what, this is the workaround that I also used to use um, at some point. Mm. Shunt immutable updates of arrays versus what is persistent arrays. Extremely easy to support functional collections with accessors, but it's not yet implemented. Defining custom lens that allows to do mutation if you want to work on okay. Um, uh, first, okay. Try the view lens in accessors extra. extra. So set. Um, set at set v uh, this pipe notation uh, is like passing to a function uh, yeah this is slightly complicated mm. Okay, we'll go with this one. So we assign that element to a variable and then change uh, set whatever you want to set in there and then um, update that corresponding index in the array. Mm, now I'm thinking how this would go if, um, if we have an if you have like some nesting going on, so let's see. Array is this. Mm. Maybe I have uh, let's say maybe I have mutable struct D one which has an array which is a vector of um, let's say a vector of t2 and of course t is not defined so let's define it mutable struct I'm just trying to make it like some sort of nesting, uh, which is a bit complex. Mm. Let's say there's also an array of vector of comma uh, int. Okay. Mm. So T2 will be uh, this of array, right? Uh, and T2 dot ARR is the array that we had, right? Original array. Um, and let's construct T1. So T1 of T2, right? This is T1. Uh, oh, we need an array of these. Um, oops. Okay. So T1 dot array dot. Oh, no, this is an array. So array of one dot array of one. This should be the three comma five 
element uh, right 3 comma 5 this vector right okay mm. so if i want to set something right in t1 then let's say if i want to make this as 5 mm, what would i do mm. actually even before that if i have uh, let's try something simpler first uh, i think this is a bit complex um let's say this is s vector of two and int and let's say t3 is t Three of three comma five. Okay. Now, if I want to do um, set something at set of t three dot v of one is equal to nine what happens uh, i get an x um, and earlier i had t uh, d3 right i want to see if they are the same thing or not um, basically are x and t3 pointing to the same no they are not pointing to the same thing no actually they could be pointing to the same thing no they can't be pointing to the same thing right because if they were pointing to the same thing then their v's should have been the same mm. so this basically returns me the entire mm, the entire t3 modified which is not what i want right i don't want a copy of t3 i want to modify this in place um yeah basically what i want to modify is t3 dot v right um so if i have um a v um basically what i want to do is something like this right t3 dot v is equal to s a dot s vector of 9 comma 5 So this would have uh, modified T3 itself. Yeah, I don't want a new allocation to happen. So if I do this and if I just do add, um, I think add time also checks allocation. Okay, did some allocation. I don't know why. Mm. Why did it do an allocation? It says there was an allocation. Okay, maybe let me add simple draw as well mm. Okay, there is allocated allocated uh, what is allocated
So evaluating expression, discarding the resulting value instead of returning the total number of bytes allocated during evaluation of the expression. Okay, let's see what is allocations. Evaluating expression, discarding the resulting value instead of returning the total number of allocations during evaluation. Oh, this, okay, this gives the number of allocations. Allocated gives the memory, I believe. Okay, and what about our time? This should give everything, right? Mm, execute, print time it took, number of allocations, total number of bytes, its execution cost to be allocated before returning the value of the expression. Any time spent garbage collecting, compiling code, recompiling is shown as a percentage. Uh, should we provide a description string? Print, okay. Okay, um, so let's maybe do at time p dot i equal to nine. Actually, this will not even work uh, because it's an immutable type. Mm. So mm, let's let's make a mutable one. Mm, mutable type. Mutable string. Mm, my point. So it's an i and j. Okay. Um, mp is equal to my point of three comma five. Um, let's do this. Let's do it again. Um. Okay, so it so this one did not do any allocations, right? MP dot i is equal to nine. Took some time, did not allocate. Mm. Right. Now the first time maybe it was doing some compilation and stuff. So, um. Okay, and MP has changed to nine comma five. Right. Great. Let's make a. my point let's make a point wrapper and let's say this has a point um point of this p which is simple draw dot point of int okay mm, let's make a point wrapper and this will have a simple draw dot point of three comma five. Okay. Um, what happens when I um, at time pw dot p is equal to simple draw dot point um, nine comma five, right? Okay. In each first time, there'll be some allocation, there'll be some compilation. Second time. It still does allocations. Um, I don't know why. Like I wouldn't have expected any allocations. What about this? Does this do allocations? This does not do any allocations. So constructing a point does not do any allocations. 
Okay. Then changing it is what is doing the allocations. Let me call this P2, uh, P2 equal to, okay, um, it's two and PW was this, right? PW dot P equal to P2. I mean, I don't think they should change anything, but yeah, it's still does allocations. Maybe the assignment is what is doing allocation. Mm, I had, um, uh, my point right so p equal to my point so where did i construct my point my point okay mp right mp equal to this this will do some allocations right one allocation of 32 bytes mm. But when I do mp dot i is equal to n, then this does not do any allocation. So when I'm, so if I have a mutable type, um, okay, this is a question that I have, then let me maybe note it down. Mm -hmm. Question. I have a mutable type wrapping um, compound mutable type. Like point. then mm, changing the mutable field of the mutable type does allocation but when i use maybe i should just write down the example that'll be much easier mm, Changing P setting setting this positive allocation uh, setting p dot i does not pause allocation um, let me also try it with this one So P 
equal to point mm, equal to five pw is point wrapper of p and at time of pw dot p equal to point of mm, let's say four comma five This is our location. And when I have this, okay, and I have MP is equal to, maybe I should have called it mutable point. Um, mutable point. Mm, mp is equal to multiple point of 3 comma 5 and at time mp dot i is equal to 4 do it again and again okay this is our cause allocations Okay. Mm. So we were here, right? Um, now let's have a array of ARR1 is array of mm, that's a mutable point there um, okay and at time ARR1 of 1 dot i is equal to 4 Okay. Um, and if I have ARR two as array of point wrapper at time ARR two of one dot p is equal to point four comma five yeah this does two allocations
Hmm. So it's not about whether it's in an array or not. Something to do with mutable, immutable types. Or maybe like simple and complex types. What if I have a uh, um, complex of something, right? Let's say I have complex of um, three and five, right? C is this C dot. Um, imaginary c dot real and is mutable c is false and if i have complex wrapper um, this has c complex of int Just let me check what point was right. Uh, okay. Uh, wait, what is mutable? Don't leave the value V is mutable. Is mutable type is what I want to. Okay. Is mutable type. Um, point. Okay. Is mutable type. Complex. Complex of int. Mm. Right. But then what is is mutable of complex is false. Oh, sorry, of complex of int is false, but oh, what is mutable of complex of int? Okay, this value itself is mutable. Um, which probably has something to do with type system, which I do not understand. But um, yeah, okay. Mm, yeah, so that's why this also was true, right, which I got a bit confused, but the function that we actually want is is, is mutable type, right. Um, so, so is mutable type of point is false. Complex of int is also false and c type of c is complex of int right mm, and type of p is point okay and i had a complex wrapper um complex wrapper of c right and uh, at time of cw dot c is equal to complex of four comma five. This also does allocations, so it's not it's not uh, it's not just Julia types versus um yeah it's yeah. Uh, it's not like default types versus user defined types is maybe it might be about like primitive types versus um, complex types. I don't know what are they called like compound types or complex types. Primitive type. Composite type, not complex, composite type. Um,
Mm. Okay. Mm. So yeah, this is uh, still a point of confusion. Okay. Mm. So assume that is going to be there always. Um, Hmm. Assume that is going to be there always. Um, we need it to decide whether to use accessors or Or use static arrays. Okay, let me let me actually check um, a package that I had worked on a long time ago called Simple Collisions, and here at some point I um, I was using my own type, um, but then I switched to static arrays. Mm. Yeah. Um.
Hmm. So I just called like defined an alias for S vector. But there's a point where I used my own type. Hmm, this one, right? Add alias this for um, let's see the files that were changed. I don't know why I did that. Um, so it's not like I the the amount of code that I had to write was significantly reduced. Um, like I still wrote most of those things. Um, where are the commits here, right? Um, Okay. Mm. Some point I use geometry basics dot vector. Uh, let's go back to here. Mm.
Well, where was vector two D defined? Okay, this would be after this commit. I want before this commit. So here. Okay, so I had static arrays. Okay, so it's just that I did not define vector 2d okay i was just using sa dot s vector everywhere so that's okay mm, that's not a problem um so then at some point i would have added mm, here right before this one uh Yeah, so I had geometry basics. Um, GB dot vec is what I was using everywhere. Okay, basically, yeah, I'm just using an alias here. Mm. So I don't think I pro like probably I never wrote my own. Um, vector type i guess Okay.
okay maybe we'll define a type alias um for um, static vectors something like this and we know that we are going to use integers everywhere so we could just hard code the type as int This will force us to be um, using integers as well. Okay. Hey, Jacob. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, you're on a train. Nice. The stream is going a bit slow, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, my camera is not working for some reason. And uh, I was thinking a lot about uh, what kind of um, type to use for vectors for the physics and stuff. Um, yeah, but I don't know. The stream is a bit low energy. I'm also a bit low energy, <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah uh it's all right i think every once in a while there'll be there'll be a stream where things will not always go great so yeah um hmm. yeah um thanks thanks for dropping by though um yeah it's always nice to have someone uh, drop in and send something a chat once in a while.
Okay, so we defined the alias um, as vec, and this will be a two-dimensional vector integer. Mm, this is what we'll be using everywhere. Mm, and wherever we use point, we would like to use this instead. Um, so let's see. See, we have point, point, um, okay. At a bunch of places, camera, okay, player, position, everything, right? Um, yeah. And then, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it should be somewhere. Okay, okay, then we are drawing, right? Okay, that's fine. And here, where is point? Right, so all this will need to be changed to vector. Mm. Okay, so what all will we need to do if we decide to use this, right? it int vec 2d or just vec right mm. sure no problem jacob um yeah uh i'll <laughs> i'll uh, send uh, an update over slack okay uh not a juice box okay what code editor am i using i'm using neovim um yeah that's what i'm using sorry about the camera my camera is um not working today <laughs> Okay, then we have change all usage of g dot point to um, vec. What made you use Julia? I love Julia, so I like to see it, but I'm just curious. Um, well, I love programming in Julia as well. Um, and it's uh, I mean there are the obvious advantages of Julia like I think I, I just like programming in Julia that that was probably the main reason uh, and then the reason I like programming in Julia is because of all the advantages it provides like dynamic and fast and multiple dispatch and all the niceties but uh, no other very particular reason. Yeah, uh, other than that, honestly. Like it doesn't provide um, like any, um, any major advantage for writing a game um, as in like there are no existing libraries and all that I'm using. I anyways wanted to make things from scratch and uh, yeah. 
other than that nothing nothing else like nothing special about julia for game development other than that it's fast and dynamic mm. and my game is also simple right so i can um like i can afford to use julia and not so let's say if i was making a very um very um i don't know like cutting edge bleeding edge game where i wanted to squeeze out the most out of my hardware then i might have um to choose something more lower level like c which gives me full control um over the hardware but since my game is also not that demanding i think um we can do a good job using julia itself thanks thanks um yeah um uh, happy that you uh dropped by and are uh excited to see see where this goes okay uh so for our vector class right um this is a change then there'll also be a corresponding change where um, basically everywhere i'm using simple draw types right um so simple draw types should only be invoked when drawing or only be um used or initialized or needed when drawing mm. uh or maybe for physics um what about collision detection we will need shapes there as well right mm like a circle rectangle things like that mm in that sense i'm i am uh, yeah if i'm using an int vector 2d right that's more or less what point is um so st dot point is also and to the vector of integers except it does not have the vector functions yet right so no indexing mm, no um uh, arithmetic operations mm what else do we need from a vector let's say when i'm doing some physics like things with it um what else do i need from it yeah i'll need like some ability to add them subtract them multiply them with a constant maybe um maybe some form of normalization mm. so the question again is like whether to add these operations to add whether to add these operations to c dot point or use an alias to sa dot vector 
to int in either case it'll be nice to use an alias Hmm. Okay. What else? Um there was this right where not use shapes unless necessary mm. so for the player character for example not use sd shapes not bundle things into simple draw types not necessary so instead of this this right uh, position diameter mm. hmm and the reason I can get away with um, just using basically hard coding vec um, as an integer vector is that I know that this decision is not changing that I'm definitely going to use integers for this game but the drawback is that if I write all code using this and later i want to separate it out in a package like the collision detection um hmm. then i'll be stuck with stuck with 2d integer vectors which is okay because if i separate it out in a package i'm not aiming to generalize it then and there right like it's okay if we if our package only supports two-dimensional integer vectors um for collision if we decide to expand then we can in that package expand to either three dimensional or um, floats or uh, things like that. But that is very far into the future if, if that even happens. Um, so I think it's okay if you just do the simple thing now. And if there are problems in the future, we'll deal with them. I don't suspect there'll be any major problems but hey there's an experiment so we'll find out if there are any um okay so let's do this mm, let's separate out the use of simple draw points from the vector thing okay um so we'll use vec um and uh, we'll do static arrays um, which give us gives us the basic operations directly and uh, 
we'll push the usage of simple draw objects towards the end when we are doing the drawing. Okay. So first add add static arrays package mm. define vec type right um, Mutable type false. Okay, so is our immutable vector type. Mm. Maybe I should just have it in. physics or something uh, these are constants okay okay so debug info and here is where we do all that right so um, in utils what do we have in utils glfw and simple i'm GUI. okay maybe we Okay, maybe we make like a physics or something like physics.gl. So include physics.gl. Okay, mm. so we've added a vec type. Now, to make changes, mm, let's start with game state. Um, actually, wait, let's just run the game. Make sure this part is fine. Okay, this is functioning. Uh, let me go and get some water. Uh, I'll be back in a minute.
All right. Uh, okay. Mm, so this works. Let's add it. So mm, read physics dot jl and define vec type. This is a 2D integer vector. Okay. Mm. Let us start with first changing the um, player composition. Okay. So instead of drawable, so basically we are trying to reduce the usage of simple draw types directly, right? Um, and construct them, oops, construct them only when needed. That'll be when we are doing the actual drawing. Okay. So, um, when I change this, right, um, to position and diameter, right, so position will be like, Oh, actually, before that, uh, there is another issue, which is um, when I'm drawing, I need to. Yeah, actually, it all boils down to drawing. Um, because there'll be like a lot of things will break when I just change it here. Um, maybe I should separate this into a drawing function. Um, yeah. Maybe let's, let's do that first. Um, so in game state, um, I'll also add uh, function, uh, sorry, file. Let's say drawing.gl. Okay. And import simple draw. Okay. All this needs to go here, right? And there'll be a function called draw game, which will take game state, um, render region, at least these two things, right? Okay, so draw and render region is dot background with this color. This can be done directly. No worries. Um, this is player drawable with some colors commented. Let's remove it. This player drawable with respect to render region, get shape with respect to render region, um, render region height, render region width. So these two need to be calculated, right? So render region height, render region width is size of render region. Okay. Um, this is there done um player direction shape is for this that line right direction vector of the player and um, this function is also there game state player drawable with respect to render region is what we just computed so that's also fine this can be done then we draw these two um which is okay then we have reference circle um yeah, this reference circle is something that is not there yet. Maybe we first add the reference circle to the game state, let's say. Um, yeah. Mm, this and return nothing. Okay. Um, okay, so let's start by adding the reference circle to the game state. Uh, it's 
yeah it'll not stay there so we will definitely change it but to be able to smoothly make the changes um i think i need to do that first reference circle is sd dot build circle int okay um in run game wherever i am wherever i have reference circle one two okay this one um this needs to go into game state so here right so reference circle okay uh so what are the changes that we have we add a reference circle to the game state and then when we are using it here we do game state dot reference circle okay um right let's first run this all right this works mm. add well temporarily temporarily add reference circle to game state Mm, that's done then include rendering.jl somewhere after game state uh no what was it drawing.jl yeah drawing.jl drawing.jl okay mm, or maybe i should call it rendering.jl Uh, yeah let's just call it rendering.jl and uh, I'll change the name here and then right okay uh, okay rendering.jl has been included and in the end where i'm doing raw calls let's just do uh, i should call it render game then render game onto the render region and game state okay all this will get commented and in this function we'll call it render game actually i don't know why draw game makes like it feels like simpler like obviously just draw the game um i'll change it back okay and uh, this will also be called draw game let's test this reference circle not defined uh, obviously because in this function i did not do um game state dot reference circle okay this is working reference circle is also fine 
Um, yeah. So, um, so what? This works. So let's delete the this commented code. and function draw game okay now uh, so we are trying to make this change right um, and then all this will happen in the draw game uh, like the changes you make here um, the construction of field point field sorry field circle and everything we'll push to the function draw game all right. Uh, so let's start making the changes. So this will be, um, so we'll need a position and uh, direction, right? Um, this is vec. This is also a no wait, not direction. Direction is this direction, okay? That's a vec also, but diameter. This will just be an int, okay? Uh, so position, diameter, direction. All right, that's what our player has. Mm. I'll also have a velocity, mm, but that is a different thing. That's not related to this change. So, um, now inside the draw game function, we'll where is the player here, right? Game state dot player dot drawable. Um, This is the only place where this is used. So maybe I'll call player drawable as, um, and it's technically not drawable, it's just the shape, um, player shape. Or it's player drawable. Um, actually drawable is the word I'm reserving for things that can be drawn um, basically they have a shape and a color basically all the color information and everything that is needed to draw it is there in it mm. so this will be a tuple uh, so first lp player shape which is going to be build circle mm, which has dot point Mm. this has so first there is player so player equal to game state dot player um and there is player dot position um and i can splat it mm. it'll construct a point and then there'll be player dot diameter, which will be the diameter. It'll give us a filled circle, so that's player shape. Um, yes. So this will become player shape. Okay. Um, drawable. And here maybe we'll change this to shape 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 okay let's see mm, player field circle oh yeah obviously um in the run game when we are constructing the player right um okay there's going to be a 
bunch more changes actually um so player is not what it was before um so there's also not a this thing right there'll be a vec right camera height camera width there'll be player radius uh, hmm okay i was using a radius instead of a diameter in simple draw what i need is a diameter hmm. let me first close these things um so where is circle right the position and diameter interesting and here i was using radius i think we found a bug yeah uh maybe this should be called player diameter okay mm, maybe i'll just write it here oh no maybe i'll write it maybe into those bugs Rename player radius player diameter. Okay, we'll change it later. Uh, for now, we'll just call it that. So that is a vector. This is also a vector, right? Um, this was the direction. And so that's that. Mm. Where else are we constructing it? So we are constructing it in a bunch of places. Oh, no. Uh, then here. Okay, okay. Move up of this player and the velocity. Okay, so this is using utility functions from the game state. Game state dot player dot direction. Okay, here there is like drawable portion diameter, right? So these two will change. They'll not be a drawable anymore. It's just portion and diameter. Uh, this is what? Get shape with respect to camera. So here you actually had to pass a shape. Um, maybe I'll make a function called get player shape. Think that might make it easier. Get player shape is equal to st dot build circle of. Oh, and this will take a player obviously. Take a player. This will be player dot position player dot diameter okay um and i want to use this function uh in drawing first of all so here player shape will be um get player shape of player and this another thing that i just noticed which was it's not position it's position um, I need to create a point out of this right um, like one and uh, I could just splat it okay so um, player shape I can get it right mm. And here I will need to use the player shape. So this will become not the drawable, but 
get clear shape and dot position so this will be a drawable okay mm. where else are we using player game state dot player Player drawable again there is this function um get player shape yeah that's it get player shape mm. And there's also um, there's also one more thing, right? So here, when I'm showing the position and diameter of the player with respect to render region. Should I use VEC or should I use simple draw points? So there'll be um, Instructors for point and back or conversions. Conversions. Okay. Um, so we'll do that as well. Mm. Okay. Uh, where was I? Here, yeah, right? This is okay. Mm. Okay, so that's mainly it. That's all the places where this is being used. So let's try again. Oh, actually, wait, there'll be one more place, um, which will be yes uh, okay there's update camera also so in game state this file right um there are a bunch of places where i'm using player like the constructor player itself so i need to fix things there so first is here right for example so so when i say move player by some amount um so i need to construct player um but this will simply change to do i need move i move j anywhere i may not um move i move j oh i need it in um velocity magnitude
well not really um yeah i don't really need this then move j also i can be removed move um so this move up move down this move also i don't think will be then used right um because it'll just be move up move down actually uh oh wait i just need a general move and then up down left right can be done with that um yeah Let's see move move uh, okay oh it's used this is sd dot move uh even move then becomes so i need a move player okay let me go through this so slowly so there's moving of players and moving of shapes uh this is moving of shape okay this is moving of shape shape mm, player 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 uh shape okay so the player one is what i need to remove all this will go away i need move player it will not be ij it will be move player by uh a vec okay mm. or like displacement okay um this will give me here i can use accessors actually um uh, yeah here accessors would be convenient but for now let's not mix all of that uh so let's just make it player um it'll not be simple draw dot move it'll just be you take player take player dot position uh, you don't have ij you don't have this um you just need mm, displacement displacement and then you need to add it right so player position will be complete position plus displacement then you'll have player dot diameter as is and player dot direction as is okay that's it all this stuff can go away we'll just move it by the displacement vector um hmm so uh player velocity magnitude we'll have um, vec uh when i want to move up right so i'll have negative player velocity magnitude and zero this will be move player with a vec of this uh yes so we'll move up right mm. then there'll be move down it'll be this then there'll be move left which will be this then there'll be move right which will be this okay so that sorts out move all right what else uh so th that's all is that's all that's there for player movement where else am i using player here 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 okay here 
uh, what is this this is update player direction update player direction okay so this will not be drawable this will be um, player dot position player dot diameter and then this will be the new direction and instead of point it will be vec okay um, right where else okay that's mainly it let's see there is no field drawable it update camera where is update camera update camera here right okay camera and player um so this constructs camera so as a rectangle uh, actually the camera mm, needs a position height and width this can also be hmm I mean, the more I think about it, the more it seems to boil down to hmm. anyways, I don't want to think about it. Let's just do it. Um, as you dot rectangle, as you dot move, this is about the shape. Um, and this will be moved by this player here. Oh, wait. Okay, this player thing also I should have checked, right? Player, player, that's fine. Retropition or diameter. Okay, player, player, not drawable. Uh, so this will change to um, maybe I can do a get shape, get player shape here. And instead of drawable, I just pass the player. Okay. They should do the trick. Um, drawable. This will also change. Hmm. Actually, you know what, uh, in the end, it'll be good to extend all the functionality um, and make it part of simple draw itself, because this is, um, yeah, it's like, it's kind of needed. Um, Okay. Now what? Player not defined. Update player direction. Uh, which line is it? One one six. First of all, it should be diameter. Uh, and then it should be game state dot player. Okay, for now I'll just write game stream dot player. Game stream dot player everywhere. Come on. Player 
get player direction shape with respect to render region 128 128 of course uh, man this is this is becoming of a pain okay give me a second to just look at static arrays dependencies linear algebra random static arrays course statistics Where is static? Oh, wait, what is this? Uh, where is static array score? Hmm, this does not have any dependencies. Interface package for static arrays. Definition for the following types and functions. Does this have any operations in it? Yeah, sorry for the digression, but I'm just curious. Okay, so it's mainly just some type definition like things. 
as it said that it's an interface um okay so where are the other dependencies for static arrays linear algebra random static array score and statistics it's actually not much uh, there is extras extensions mm, maybe simple draw should just use this <sighs> yeah but that's another behemoth project Mm, to make those kinds of changes for now we will just make these changes so uh, one or two mm. Oops, no. Okay. Yeah, not bad. So this is working. Mm, let's remove all the commented code. Oh, wait, here there'll be. First, let's see game state. Is this fine? So, changed player, get player shape, update camera. Oops.
Okay, this thing looks. So this is change. Um, change what? Change layer struct use vec. Sort of simple raw primitives. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I feel that simple raw should have just used static arrays. At that point, um, I I did not want to add that as a dependency, but now I am not seeing any advantage of that <clears throat> so um yeah i don't know if the if keeping it lightweight and minimalistic helped as much uh, i mean yeah i don't think it it helped much i mean it was a good exercise to do it from scratch but if there is a package out there which is community maintained and uh, supported and uh, quite good at what it does, then I think it's okay to add those kinds of packages as dependencies. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, because it just, I think it makes things um, convenient to just use it up out of the box instead of having to reinvent things i mean reinvention has its place but um i think here we need more convenience than reinvention mm. okay What next? We change camera. Mm. And here also, I don't know if I should wrap it or just use the rectangle, right? Um, yeah. Mm. Because again, I don't see any strong advantage of wrapping it other than there might be some type piracy. Actually, where will that type piracy be? So if I'm using functions that are my own, oops, camera, right? Let's see where, so these functions like get shape with respect to camera. I'm using, I mean, I'm not doing any type piracy because the function is mine. Right, type piracy happens when I um, write methods that are either so that are like not my function and not my type, right? So if I use my function uh, or if I use my type, then I believe it's not type piracy. Mm. So all these functions are at least mine, uh, and again and again, if I have to do like camera dot rectangle dot, oops camera dot rectangle dot whatever is just a uh, unnecessary hassle mm. and I'm not sure if it's buying me anything like I don't think it's buying me anything um, Uh, 
Okay. Mm, there is a bunch of simplification which uh, we will do at some point. Uh, but for now, let's just keep moving. So, uh, camera. Does camera need to be changed? Where is it? Here, right? Do we need to make it... Mm, not use point. Not really because the camera just tracks the player and that functionality is already there. There's no physics needed there. So I think it's okay. Mm. What about the game state? Frame number, it's fine. Player, we changed camera. No need to change. Cursor position, let's change maybe. Uh, let's make it a vec. Instead of point. And reference circle, this will go away. So that's fine if it's a circle, if it's a simple draw struct already, it will not have physics. Um, by that time, we would have made something better, like we would have maybe added some bullets or something uh, for the physics part. So that's okay. This is just for drawing, drawing reference, right? Cursor position will also not really have physics, but then it can... Um, yeah, it doesn't make sense to use a point here if um, if everywhere else we are using vec, right? For example, if I want to update the position, then, uh, sorry, update the direction, then yeah, it just makes things easier to have a vec. Man, changing simple draw will be, <sighs> it'll be cumbersome. Mm, and now I feel like I want to do it. Um, okay, we'll do it at some point. For now, let's just make this vec. Okay, so vec and cursor position. It's used here. So this will become one, two, Get cursor position with respect to render region. One of two. Where is this function? Get cursor position. Next cursor, blah, blah, blah. When it returns, oh, okay, it returns a point here, right? So this will also need to be changed. This needs to become a vec. Mm. I think that should be fine. And then here where we construct, uh, Cursor position. Cursor position callback. It's retaining a point. So here it. Oh. No. Ouch. Okay. So simple. I am GUI. Use a simple draw. Use a simple point. Simple draw or point. Yeah, that's why it's good to use existing standardized stuff. This is going to be a pain to change all those libraries. Um, yeah, otherwise, I mean, I can get around doing some hacks um, and it's not bad, but I wish I didn't need to do these hacks. Anyway, so this will return a point. There's nothing I can do about it. Mm. Position. Okay, so this takes this uh, update cursor position. And then cursor position. Okay, okay. So this function will need to be changed back. Update cursor position, right? Uh...
here. Further pollution, get further pollution, let's do it in the region. Okay. Uh, where is it? Here, right? Here, I'm assuming that cursor position is a VEC. So what I could do is, in the outermost layer, um, the hack will be to make a VEC out of it. Right? So, it'll be something like this. Mm, we'll make a VEC of this thing dot i and if I put state dot cursor dot position dot j okay of course cannot convert point to this where is it happening linear algebra uh, what uh, wait here it's happening the game state 16 16 uh, in this constructor okay so game state here it's being constructed instead of going point let's do back Hmm. Okay, this is working. What about debug information? Do I want to check all that? Not really. Okay, mm. so that's fine. Reference circle will go away. Camera, we are not changing. So this part is okay. All right, all right. All usage of point to vec. Uh, for the most part where it mattered, yes, we have changed it. SG type should only be used, blah, 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 and not during game state debugging. This is... Hmm... Collision detection, we need shapes, yes. We will need shapes. So 
also a 2d vector of integers except it does not have the vector functions yet uh arithmetic operations yeah let's go away whether to add these operations to one using alias okay right so alias we have an alias not bundle things into st types if not necessary this is done constructors conversions for let's see, point and vec okay i think um, we can pause here and um, let me check how bad will it be to change simple draw implementation to vec there's It's a, uh, there's a lot here, so. Mm, okay, I think this will be a very big digression. So we will not do it yet. Mm. Let's say when I'm doing my collision stuff, I need to create shapes. Uh, maybe I just create my own shapes. How about that? Hmm. Okay, we'll create our own shapes. We'll not use uh, or rather we'll not reuse simple draw shapes because that'll be a uh, that'll basically be going against the flow that I want to achieve eventually, which is to use static arrays in simple draw as well. And so um and I'm not getting any serious advantage using simple draw types. For collision detection so we'll make our own shapes and then later when we want to draw stuff we will um we will convert to simple draw shapes there might be some um, some repetitive code some basic code right um that's repeated in simple draw and here but that's okay um yeah Okay, so what next? Maybe I want to write conversions or rather constructors, right? For point and vec. So vec from point and point from vec. Mm. In physics. Maybe I write uh, vec of simple draw SSD SG dot point is going to be vec of let's say this is point um point dot i point dot j and sd dot point vec um this is technically type piracy because this function is not mine mm, or rather this type whatever right and this is also technically not mine um
but eventually eventually what will happen is these two will be the same so yeah so it's okay I don't know. Maybe I'll not do this. Uh, maybe I'll do the explicit thing right now. Okay. Um, so in to do's math and vectors. Okay, next, maybe we can just start doing collisions. Collisions. So constructors, I'm not doing constructor construction conversion. Um, For collisions, I need objects to collide. Collide um, like bullets and players. Okay. Um, then I need um, implement. implement collision detection mm. probably no need for collision resolution physics because things will not bounce Yeah, basically, I don't want, I don't need collision, collision resolution for the, yeah. Uh, so no need to implement, no need to implement restitution. Coefficient of restitution. Uh, restitution. Like things. Okay. Um, because I'll explicitly tell what each type of entity it will do. Let's say we are let's say moving along a wall, then there'll be something. Um, if um, maybe the let's when a bullet come uh collides with a player maybe the bullet just disappears explodes whatever um there may be like yeah i don't need to probably do any general implementation uh of this mm. Mm, maybe sliding along wall would be needed. Mm, but no friction. Mm. And mostly no bouncing okay mm, what else will you need um we need the ability to add bullets like or ability to shoot bullets mm. Let's so 
ECS like things um so active inactive entity entities and memory management will be needed I can do without that so this is a keep try to keep this separate so try to keep this separate so just hard code bullets fields bullet fields fields uh, no dynamic creation destruction so no shooting right um bullets will just exist from the start and stay till the end okay um Right, so we don't need to actually shoot bullets. We'll just have like a bullet entity type. There'll be something like the player. I mean, there's a player, there's a bullet. They both exist. Uh, nothing gets destroyed, right? Uh, all the dynamic creation destruction, that'll be a separate thing that we'll take up later. But for the purpose of collision detection, collision resolution, things like that, we don't need... Um, we don't need that part right so we can separate it mm. what else is a consideration mm. Mm. not much um Okay, there's one thing that I'll just write separately, which is like remove reference circle, um, add like a checkerboard background instead. Um, the purpose of a reference circle was just visual confirmation of player movement in the world. Okay. Mm. Hmm. And maybe we will uh, also need like a world boundary and stuff. Um, Add a world boundary. Mm. Okay, first we'll maybe do some collision like things. Once we have that, we can add a world boundary, make sure the player cannot go outside, um, things like that. Hmm. Okay, mm, yeah, so this stuff we can do and we will do, but probably next time. Um, yeah, I don't want to start that now. It's almost three hours since we are streaming. 
okay let me just push the changes to remote um, should we call it physics um, yeah we can call it physics okay mm. here it is right okay so physics branch is there um there's no point in merging it i think uh, because there is still stuff remaining to be done all right folks okay with that i think i'm going to end the stream now it was a bit slow today um uh, especially in the beginning and i rambled a lot uh and i took a long time to decide how to go about um what kind of type to use for vectors and my camera also wasn't working so yeah not not my best stream but anyways i think i'm going to wrap it up here all right so see you folks next time actually next week i will not be streaming um I'll be traveling, but I'll update that on the channel. Okay. See you folks. Bye. Thanks for, thanks for joining.